Hello, uh, Jim Howard here. Jim, don't even know my name. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, <clears throat> September 10th of 2019. It's uh, 8.16 p.m. Uh, that is, you're looking at my 20-gallon aquarium. It's a 20-gallon high aquarium. And uh, there at the bottom sort of center, you can see one of the two Placostomus that's in the tank. Uh, they're kind of rambunctious. They're, oh, now you can see both of them in there. And then the other thing in there you can see are the albino snails. You can see the one on the left side there. And you can see the... Uh, shrimp in the tank. There's a lot of fish, a lot of uh, shrimp in that tank. Uh, the camera being used is the Logitech Brio camera. And uh, it's a good camera. I've got two Logitech cameras hooked up to uh, the computer. Uh, there are two sponge filters in there. You can't see the one on the right hand. Yes, you can. Right over in the corner. I should, let me uh, reach over here. Maybe rear, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Hang on a second. And now you can see the one Placostomus, whoops, disappeared. He was over in the left-hand side there. Uh, you can see two albino, well, three. There's one up the top right-hand corner also. Let me, uh, there's another small one right in the middle on the glass going up. I love snails. I don't love the pond snails, the little tiny ones that are so obnoxious, but the albino snails. And there's, a, what is it, a ram's horn, a couple of ram's horn snails or something in there? No, I don't think they're ram's horn. I forget what they are. Um, <clears throat> the albino snails are really interesting. They lay their eggs up above the water line. And uh, there's a placot or the... Uh, Coriodorus one in the tank. <clears throat> Coriodorus really should be in a, a group. And I bought, I think, six of those. And they weren't healthy when I got them, and only one ended up surviving. Uh, the shrimp, I think I bought six and got one extra tossed in, uh, and I got the, the shrimp, uh, you know, from an eBay, uh, eBay seller, and they have multiplied big time. Um, those are live plants, by the way, in the uh, fish tank. There's a piece of, like, driftwood or whatever that I purchased. Those other... Uh, Things are some wood you can buy from aquarium stores that uh, shrimp like to, and other fish like to hide in in those and sort of graze on them. The leaf on the back is uh, something that will adjust the pH of the water maybe a little bit. And uh, fish, especially shrimp, are supposed to uh, enjoy uh, sort of feeding on on it, but there must be some type of a cycle. When I first put that leaf in there, uh, a whole bunch of shrimp went over to check it out. They looked it over, and they're not paying much attention to it. But as it starts to decay or over time or something, then uh, they become more interested in it. 
Um, so let me see if I can uh, swing this camera around and you can see me. Oops, I'm kind of tethered here to the headset. Uh, I'm going to take the headset off so I can adjust this. Okay, oh my god. Okie doke. Like I said, that's the uh, Logitech Brio camera. And it, it runs about $200. And really, I mean, you probably don't need it for making YouTube videos or for... I mean, you can pay a lot less, less than $100 for uh, other Logitech USB cameras. And it should be just fine. You may notice I just today changed back to uh, my DOS, D-A-S, keyboard. For some reason, it's not lighted. That's the only drawback for it. I've uh, talked about it in the past, but it's smaller. takes up less room. And that let me bring the uh, 4K monitor closer. And... Uh, the other thing about it is that it uh, has, you know, one keyboard cable, a 3.0 cable, and I've got that plugged into 3.0. And uh, that then it there's two jacks here. I have USB 3.0 right up here. And I like for my keyboards to have adjustments for the audio, you know, and... Uh, well, let me show you. Hang on a second. Guess I can move these cokes out of the way. Well, that one's empty. If you happen to be, if you happen to be looking at the last video, you saw I put a printer up there uh, yesterday or the day before, and I moved the printer. I just need space to. Uh, this is, and this is excellent. This is the Logitech. It's the one I've been using for the last few months or whatever. And it's the uh, G910. And I really like it. It has everything that I like about it. Uh, and it's lighted. Uh, great keyboard. The only thing it does not have is a pass-through for a USB. Of course, it only uses one USB, you know. And it doesn't have to be, and it's not a 3.0. Uh, now, the other keyboard is this massively built tank-like keyboard and 
as you can hear, uh, it's really heavy. And the, uh, it has two USB, has, you know, for audio, two jacks for the audio. The cable's really, and this thing is heavy. And this is the, Razor Black Widow Ultimate, and this is the 20, I can't tell, I can't tell if that's 2014 or 2016, I need my flashlight now, which I have moved someplace, oh there it is, well one of them has fallen over, <laughs> 2014, they make, they've made a bunch of different they made a bunch of different uh, models of this, and a bunch of them are, uh, you know, have that date like 2014, 2016, or whatever. But uh, what I do not like about this is the fact that uh, there is no, I mean, you can hit an F key, or is it a function key, I forget which, and adjust the audio with I want a wheel some type of wheel because I'm adjusting the audio all the time but if you're looking for something really rugged like I said when you look you'll find different uh, they have different models of it and uh, this is of course the Logitech See if I can get a little bit closer for you. And it is an excellent keyboard in every way. Uh, by the way, this other one has, let me show you. Forgot to mention that. Now the G910 is kind of large. I kind of like, give this one is the DOS keyboard. Forgot to show you on this one. It has a, it's not a 3.0 though, has a USB, so you plug this in and you have a, a USB port, and then you have for your audio jacks here, you can plug in, you know, for your audio jacks there. So anyway, for right now at least, I'm back to using this, this keyboard. Let us take a another look at the fish tank, and then I think I'll uh, think I'll end this video. Uh, I may move the camera around a little bit. I'm gonna have to take the headset off. See if I can put a little food in here. <clears throat> okay. Well, the focus isn't uh, very good after moving. Let me pull it back some. Oops. Headset. Ouch. Hang on. Okay, I wonder if I can go into the focus on this here. Let's 
see here. Uh, let's see. Whoops. That's the oh my god, I look bad. That's the other camera, the C920. See if I can switch. Probably not because the other's in use. Nope, that won't work. Okay. Let's see. Blurry. Let's see, I cannot get into the settings, but there should be some way here. Let's get to the camera here. Let's see, zoom maybe. Nope. Okay. Oh, let's see. I don't think I have an adjustment without yeah, I'd be kicked out of um, okay let's try okay video hmm I should play with these cameras more. Well, 400% zoom doesn't help. Uh, okay. I am just going to give it up. Um, by the way, back in the corner there on the right-hand side, you see what looks like a tubing. That's the uh, suction thing for suc suctioning water and debris out of the uh, fish tank. That's my evening medication. So for the tenth, done. I need to get the other medication thing, put it there. I've got my uh, diabetic testing thing here. I haven't been months and uh, I uh, finally decided I better get that out and I took it I was surprised uh, I haven't taken it in months of course I did I failed to take my diabetic medication uh, yesterday And this morning, my uh, so I took it this morning. It was 204. That's highly unusual. Um, uh, on the first, okay. Uh, today's the tenth, and it was 204 this morning. Blood sugar. The last time before this that I took it was the first of August. And it was 106 in the morning. And then before that, I took it on uh, June 13th. It was 98. Uh, or July. No, June. Uh, May 16th, I took it, and it was 126. That was actually at night. 
And then uh, a few days before that, it was 137 at night. And uh, so it usually was 90 in the morning, uh, 116, 101, but this morning it was 206, 204. I always take it, well, I don't always, when I take it, I take it in the morning before I've uh, had anything to eat. Anyway, I do thank you for watching this video, and next time maybe I'll try to get uh, a better view of the fish tank. And I'm not sure if that cable will reach far enough to get over to my little six and a half gallon tank and uh, it might not sure anyway thank you very much for watching